Hey there, Greg Marchand here. So I was in class the other day and we were talking about dealing with upset customers and I was doing that whole listen empathy action thing, right? And somebody said to me, you know, how in the world, Greg, can you have empathy for somebody who is being a royal ass? And look, it's hard. Empathy is hard. And in dealing, whether it's on the phone or in person, I, I always found it even harder in person to deal with grumpy customers, you know, because they're just, I'm not a big dude. I'm, I'm a pretty short guy and, and a lot of these people just tower over me. Or there was just such vitriol that they were just spewing phlegm everywhere as they're yelling at me. And it was just, it was so hard. And look, empathy is not easy because you can't feel it in those moments. You're you're getting screamed at, you're, it's not your fault, you know it's not your fault, you just, you're trying so hard not to scream back, and empathy does not come easy. And that's why my answer to this person was, you're right, empathy is not easy, here's what you do. You practice the words. Do you have to have some meaning behind the words? You have to have some, but look, most of the time, if you look somebody in the eye and you can say, this has to be incredibly frustrating for you. Maybe you don't even mean it. You know, you're not saying, this must be incredibly frustrating to you. You're looking them in the eye and you're just using the words, this must be very frustrating for you. That alone, just the words, whether you mean it or not, You've got to you gotta say it with some sincerity, but just the words can help immensely. And what the words do, the words aren't magic in and of themselves, but the words give you space. It, it's like driving a wedge in, right? You, you, just, you just open up a little bit of space. You slow them down just a little bit. You, and empathy catches them off guard. And so it slows them down, even just that little bit. And once they slow down a little bit, then you can find a little bit more empathy. You can find a little bit more room to do what you need to do, to, to quiet yourself down, to calm your own mind. So yes, empathy is hard. And if you find it crazy hard because somebody's yelling and screaming at you, just use the words while making eye contact. And it's about gaining a little bit of space, gaining a little bit of room, slowing down a little bit of momentum, keeping things in check, and then you can build upon that, okay? So I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you have full-on empathy for somebody's yelling and screaming at you. I'm saying use those empathetic words, get good at practicing those. It's not, I'm sorry, it's that must have been terrifying, is everybody all right? This has gotta be a really frustrating experience for you while you're leaving on a vacation. Use words like that, get good at it, so that you can just pull those words out, make eye contact, use the words, gain some space that you can then build upon to de-escalate the situation. I hope it helps a little bit. Keep up the great work and never, ever, ever stop learning.